Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be my 30 week video vlog update for my pregnancy. Um, we are going to change scenery today because I wanted to show you guys some of the baby stuff that I've recently gotten in the mail. So I figured it would just be easier just to do it all in here. Um, so as far as this week goes, it's been um, a pretty good week for the most part. I've been keeping up with my exercise and everything. And this week I've been reading as much as I can about um, labor and tips and techniques for like an all natural labor. So um, if you guys have any tips or anything for how to get through it without having pain meds, that would be awesome. Um, and so as far as symptoms go, um, it's still lots of heartburn. It comes earlier now in the day. It used to come like after 3, 3.30 and now it's coming around like 1. So it's getting a little bit earlier in the day. So I've been taking antacids at work. Um, still having a lot, a lot of swelling in my feet, but I am pretty active. I do keep my feet up when I get home from work and when I'm done hiking and stuff. But yeah, I, I, my ankles are like non-existent at this point, which is totally fine. I never thought that would be me, but yeah, they're just, I don't really have ankles. That's fine. <laughs> um, something kind of more new that has been happening that I've noticed is, um, sorry, the light is changing. The sun is like being covered by clouds right now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but anyway, the new thing that's been going on lately is I have a lot of pressure like down there um, and kind of TMI but like down 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 there <laughs> um, it feels like very sore maybe it's stretching because that's kind of what it feels like it feels like it's stretching or it's been stretched honestly it feels like I had a really 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 rough like intercourse or something but it's always sore whenever I'm like walking or standing if I'm sitting I don't feel it or notice it but when I'm standing it's pretty bad um so yeah I'm hopefully that's normal I'll ask my OB but um have you guys had that happen before like the soreness down there it's kind of annoying it's just like really sore but I'm hoping like maybe that will prepare me for um childbirth hopefully hopefully it's like stretching stuff out um I am out of breath like all the time now I always feel like thirsty or I feel like I can't like breathe all the way like I just can take short breaths as you guys can probably tell in the video um and I'm still really sorry about the light <laughs> and the sun is super super like um being covered right now by the clouds we've been having like storms like a lot lately um, oh, and then bad news, I've got, this is my second leg cramp now in my whole pregnancy. I had one, like, maybe four or five days ago, um, and right when it happened, I did, like, what I was supposed to do, like, um, it was, of course, in, in bed in the morning when I was sleeping, repositioning, um, I, you know, tilted my foot, like, like that, like, all the way up like that instead of leaving it flat, so, like, even though it hurt, I forced myself to do that. And the cramp went away pretty much immediately once I did that, but it hurt really bad. And for like three days after that, in fact, it's still a tiny bit sore, the back of my calf. Like, it's just really, really sore back there. So, it kind of feels like I like broke my muscle <laughs> or tore my muscle. Um, and that day I had two bananas, so I don't think the banana thing works. I think I've just been lucky with not having them. I'm not sure. But it definitely happened, and it sucked, and ouch, I hate leg cramps. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. And then something else I've been noticing the past two days, like when I'm laying down or trying to go to sleep, my legs twitch a lot. Like, there's just like one little spot that just keeps twitching, and it's really annoying, so it's hard to fall asleep. Um, so I'm thinking that's all of my symptoms lately. Other than that, I've been feeling pretty good. My nipples are still kind of like sore a little bit. And they are changing colors still. They're like turning purpley or like dark blue. It's so weird. And now the sun is coming back just in little pieces. <laughs> um, so cravings still nothing. I'm like, I don't have any cravings. It's so boring. I know, like super boring, no cravings. I mean, I'm just eating the same stuff I've always ate. Like just protein, eggs, milk, cheese, lots of protein, dairy. That's pretty much all I really like to eat. Um, 
something that I had noticed is I do really enjoy the gluten-free bread now. Um, I know in like the earlier stages of the, my pregnancy, I stopped liking it. There was a weird aftertaste and I couldn't even eat it. And now like I can eat it plain and before being pregnant, I always told my husband my favorite toast is the gluten-free toast. Like it just tastes really good. And now I'm back to that point again where I can just eat it and I love it. Um, but still no real aversions or anything like that. Um, something new that has been going on, um, I think I mentioned it last week. Um, we do have the, um, the blood cord and tissue kit. It came in the mail a couple days ago, so we're all set for that. <clears throat> we got, like, a super huge discount. Um, we went through Corsell, I believe it is. So, um, if you refer people, you actually get, um, a free year worth of storage for free, which is $200 value, basically. And then, um... The person who is signing up also gets $200 off of their, um, I guess, whatever they choose, the blood core, the tissue, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but because they were also having another sale right now, $650 off, I ended up getting like $850 off of the total price. So like really, really good deals right now. So if you guys are pregnant and thinking about that, um, let me know and I can, you know, let them know. Like, we can totally get some discounts going on. Um, I think it's amazing that they do that. I think a lot of other places do it as well. Um, but you can hit me up in the comments below if you're interested and you want that discount. Um, so, oh, I did want to tell you guys. So, I was kind of, like, having a toss-up between doing the cord blood and then doing the delayed clamping. But they had told me, and they sent me a whole bunch of information regarding it, that um, you can still do the delayed clamping and still do um, the blood cord and the tissue and all of that. You can still do it. So I can actually do both. So I can do both the things I wanted to do. I wish I would have known that sooner. Um, so yeah, now that I have all of that, I need to start working on my birth plan and bring it to the doctor. Um, I go to the doctor in two weeks, so I plan on having that done in two weeks, but I've been procrastinating, so I'm sure I'll end up doing it right before I go. <clears throat> um, I did think that I found a pediatrician, because apparently you need one of those before you give birth, so I think I found one, but my insurance is changing, so I haven't been able to make an appointment yet, and I'm not sure when we actually do all of that, um, but I'm going to find out when I call, <clears throat> and let's see, oh, I'm crocheting the, my cute little monster thing, oh, I forgot to bring it in. I'll go grab it in a second here, but um, I'm almost done. I was trying to get it done before I recorded so I could show you guys, but I just have to put the face on and the little um, little spiny things for the monster. I don't know. It's really cute. I'll show you guys what I have so far, and then I'll put the finished picture up on Instagram so you can follow me down below on Instagram. And then my baby shower is totally in three weeks, so that's crazy. I'm really excited and really nervous because, like, I don't know what all needs to be done or anything like that so yeah I need to start working on that also baby is the size of a cabbage now and um, he's over three pounds they say about 3.3 um, so that's really cool he's getting big I kind of feel the same size lately um, I still fit into most of the stuff like my scrubs and stuff at work I'm just wearing yoga pants um, but maybe he's just kind of like pushing like up higher on my stomach now um, I'll go ahead and show you guys my bump, and then I'm going to show you guys some of the cool stuff that I got from the mail, which is, like, super, super exciting. I'm so excited. It just makes everything, like, seem so much more real, and I'm like, oh my gosh, two more months and he's going to be here. I can't believe it. So I'll show, you, I'll show you guys all of that. So first let me show you my little bump, and like I said, I feel like it's the same. You never know, though. front. Oh, sorry about my clothes. These are, uh, this is what I went walking in. I just got back from a, a really big walk. So I'm a little bit out of breath still, too. So there he is. He's very, very low still, so it's probably why I feel so much pressure. And of course, you can see I've gained lots of weight in my hips. Right here and uh, also in my thighs. 
Okay, so I'm going to go grab the little crochet hat, and then I'm going to show you guys all the cool stuff I got. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. So this is um, almost finished. I just have to put like the finishing touches on it. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's all done. So, you know, I still have to do the eyes and the mouth and like the little spiny things. I don't know what those are called right now, <laughs> but I'm pretty close. I'm using pretty much the same colors too. It's just hard to tell because that's just my phone. Um, but oh my gosh, I love it. I haven't crocheted in like a year and a half or something. So I did have to relearn some stitches, but I think it's turned out pretty good. So that's that. I will post a picture of Instagram on there. And then, so this is my pack and play um, a friend of ours got for us, which I so love. These little stars are super, super cute. Um, my cats love it, and they have been, like, climbing in it and stuff. I think I have some video. I might throw in, if I have the video, I might throw in some clips of them playing in it. The only thing I don't like... Um, is it's Velcro, so like baby's totally gonna pull these things off once he's starts grabbing stuff, you know. Um, but that's really cool. It has a bassinet on the top and then like you know playpen thing on the bottom. And um, this is the stroller. I don't remember if I showed you guys yet or not, but that's the stroller. It's here. It's all set up. It's awesome. I have to put it downstairs. Um, and this is a mattress that we can put. It goes in the pack and play. Um, I actually forgot all about it, but I have to wash the sheet and everything before I put it in anyway. Oh, and the other thing was that I did get a changing pad. So that's awesome, because I totally am going to need that. And then, um, I got these really, really cool canvas, um, chevron little, what are they? Totes, canvas totes, sure, okay. <laughs> and then, um... So this is the this is the thing that goes on the the, the sheet that goes on the mattress. Ugh. And I don't know, babies are always just kept showing this to me over and over. So I was like, fine, I'm just gonna put it on my registry because I didn't really have a lot of toys on there anyway. But it's like um it's like a teething toy giraffe and it also like makes a little squeaky sound and it's like really rubbery and supposedly all the dots are fun for the baby to look at. So I'm super excited about that. I think it's really cute. And then we got our first receiving blankets from um, a friend of ours as well. They're gray and a little bit of blue, so like I love how there's just a little blue. It's a pop of color. And there's little stars. Oh, I love stars. It goes with my mobile. I do have to put the mobile up still, the baby mobile. Um, as far as the changing table goes, we're probably going to put it once I clean everything up right here underneath the window so the baby can look out the window while I'm changing them. So the baby mobile I'm gonna have to put up there somewhere. So we do have to still do that. Um, this is Momi's room though so she's just been loving all this baby stuff but we kept up the box in here from the um, stroller because she um, always, she used to have a perch up here like a shelf that she will look out the window and we took it down and she's been really depressed so we kept this here so at least she has that for now but I'm assuming once the changing tables here she's just gonna sit there the whole time so they're gonna share a bedroom because there's no way I can kick her out see she's so cute huh mommy she doesn't want to be kicked out say no oh so cute so cute um, the other thing that I got <clears throat> is this cute little owl projector nightlight thingy. Um, let me see if I can turn it on. Uh, the noises, I think, are a little annoying, but, you know, that's fine. They also have, like, if you don't want music, they have other sounds that you can use. But, I don't know if you can see it, but... It projects like little stars and stuff on the wall or ceiling and um, it like glows so it's really cool the, the little sides are the speakers so it's really cool I don't know if I'm gonna use the noises because they're kind of annoying to me we'll see maybe but I love it it's super cute and I got it I believe this one was from Amazon but I'm not sure um, it might have been on Babies R Us. I don't know. But it's super, super cute. So, I believe... Oh, I'm so out of breath. 
I believe that's it, but I was so excited to already start getting stuff, especially like big items. Oh, I do have the Halo bassinet. Um, it's downstairs though, it's not up here. It's the Halo swivel one. Um, you can Google it if you want, but it's just a plain simple bassinet that we're going to keep in the room for breastfeeding. But um, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions or anything, just ask in the comments below. And I will totally, like, what I'm doing right now is uploading this, and I'm actually going to finish my little hat. So I will put pictures on Instagram for that. So yeah, hopefully it turns out good. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry about the weird light and stuff. Um, but I will see you guys next week. Bye.